Hey, what's up guys, I'm Pestred here and welcome back. I know I am making the tutorial and it's late. So I am using Tefcore from version 3 and basically for this one you only need After Effects and the Tefcore from 3. So for this tutorial I want to tell you two most important things. First one is this is not mine concept. I seen this one uh, on YouTube and I learned from there and I just add my own few touches and I make like this one so I just forget that person name or the channel name that's why I'm not going to mention but definitely I am not taking the ownership for this concept actually so the most second thing is about our channel so basically our channel is going to complete 10,000 subscribers soon so I need your help so help me to reach 10,000 subscribers this uh, I mean now we have 9,191 so help me to reach fast and if you are a new I'll consider subscribe this channel and press hit the bell icon to get notification whenever I post a video on YouTube and if you have any problem you can just put comment or just leave a message and I will definitely help you so you can search uh, you can visit uh, my channel there are a lot of things just like a tutorial tips tricks experiment also some breakdown and free project file also here so anyways enough advertisement of our channel Let's, let's get started so first go inside your after effect version and make a new comp and i'm going to use 1920 by 1080 and it's up to you what you want so rename it just like uh, audio react create a new solid and just apply trap code form i mean rename it Tape code form and just select this layer and press control space on your keyboard and this is FX console you can download it from video copilot it's 100% free so search just search here form and apply form right so you can do a lot of things from the trap code form and if you search my on my YouTube channel I I already created some awesome work with the trap code form so I will subscribe and I will put the link in my description also I will just click here I will just add few tutorials here so you can check it if you want so let's move again I mean move ahead so let's try type your texture and I am going to use 1080 by 1080 and just apply a new solid fractal noise so this is a fractal noise and you can just change it whatever you want in this one just like a brightness contrast and sub evaluation right so let's add a keyframe on the evaluation press alt on your keyboard and press right mouse button on here and just add a expression called time time star 100 200 time star 200 and this will be moved automatically let me show you the preview right good one and let's let's duplicate it D three times so basically I want to create RGB channel separated RGB channel red green and blue right so we can do a lot of things just like we can apply a tint here right or just choose a red one right and also apply tint here and in white we will choose the blue red green blue so green maybe green right and then in last one we will choose the 
tint and this is gonna be a uh, blue right so enable all three and just select all these and press f4 and change the blur blending mode to the screen all right but nothing happens because all this fractal noise is the same seed i mean this is just a layer with the same setting that's why if first one move in the right so these two copies also move in the right so that's why we are not seeing this so for this we can do a uh, two things in my opinion two things you can just slide this just like you can let's see how to fix it so select the first one and this gonna be R all right it's mean red green and the blue and now let's change the random seed so go to the first one evaluation evaluation option and change the random seed to maybe zero it's okay in green one will change the random seed to one and the blue one change the random seed to two right done and we can customize all this again if you we want oh let's go to the audio comp right and just select our texture and put it here all right on solo i mean just hide it and just select the trap code form and go to the base form and change to the box to the obc model if you have obc model you can de definitely use this all things on a obj also but i am going to use in a sphere and here you can read it sphere layered it means there are a three copies one two and three so you can change it to one if you want but let's do it default all right we can change it also later and you can increase the size like this one all right let's go to the layer maps and here is the option called color and alpha displacement so color and alpha will choose the texture displacement will choose to individual if you want to displace any particular direction you can change choose it but i am going to leave it default rgb to xyz you can see we created rgb here and this will be move displace our sphere is x y and g right so layer i will choose the texture so you can see this is displacing so let's increase the particle uh, leave it 17 or 100 let's put 100 and uh, go to the particle settings and we will change the size maybe 5 or increase a little bit more and change it to the half resolution and blame it choose to the normal and increase size a little bit more like this right and here is the option sphere feeder so you can press zero or leave it like you can adjust all the time right and you can also choose the size randomness so maybe i'm going to choose 25 right and let's increase the size a little bit more right the next thing is going to happen the audio layer but first let me do something more so go to the fracture fracture field and here is the option called after size and after opacity so after size i'm going to put 12 a little bit more and after opacity same like 25 i just choose displacing i'm going to push press 100 right and now let's add a uh, audio layer so put audio layer here and shut down the show button i button select the trip code form and just go to the uh, go to the audio react and just choose the audio layer right so now we have to map where you want to map so tw scale 
right in scaling and x left to right and the delay i will press 2 right let me choose to so frequency we can increase it let's decrease it let me increase to 200 and the width going to down it and the threshold and strength I'm going to down it because it's moving very fast so let's put out 20 let's see let's go inside the particle and the size I'm going to down it like this and increase the particle And map to the TV scale. Now this one, this gonna be work it. Right, you can see this is working. Let's add a new camera and press C and scale down. You can see it's working, right? So let's add few more adjustment. So go to the audio layer and strength I'm going to down like like just 10 the stain and the width frequency is okay. So everything is good here and then go again in the factor field and the displacement I'm going to down it it's good okay so all done and we can play with the particle I mean we can increase in particle just like 200 and the 200 Yes, yeah. So you can see this looks good, right? This is creating a wave in our particles, right? So let's make it more cool. So what we'll do? Just select all these things and pre-compose it. Hit OK and choose to the full. Alright. And let's let's go inside first. Select the trap code form and apply a glow effect. Right? And change the channel to the alpha. Now go with, uh, go out and just apply a glow effect or just apply a adjustment layer and apply a glow effect. Let's duplicate it. And if you want we can just turn it off. And let's duplicate again. Right. so looks good and we can adjust all these parameters I mean the checkered form parameters so let's first delete the glow from here just like the particle layers if we should put one this will also looks good and the inner inner sphere will remove and if you want we can just 
add more copies and here you can see the audio if you want to add uh, another wave i mean the another thing just like the uh, reactor first is different work and the reactor second will be different just like if i press the particle size so the this one is work on the particle size and delay if i should press 2 and x left right this will be also good and the frequency press 200 same things strength i'm going to put 12 and the threshold is going to be zero and width press 12 also right so let's take a look what result we will get so particle size will be also changed right through the motion of audio wave right so you can add a three four and five more right and let me show you you can customize it a little bit more how right so lock this comb lock this comb and just double clip on the texture layer and just put this here all right so we are in a, a texture comb right so basically this texture is doing a uh, creating a map with separate rgb right so this is not important i mean this is not mandatory to use only fractal wise you can use anything else or you can use definitely different things also but make sure you make three copies with the separated rgb just like the apply a tint a red green and blue one all right so we can do it always so so let me show you what i mean so let me show you how you can adjust it a little bit more so this one the random set is zero right this this in this one the random set is one and in the last one the random c is is two so if i press little bit different the result gonna be different right you can see let me go here unlock this comp and go to the audio react like this one and like come over here and the texture all right so you can see the random seed how change everything you can see so I told you everything how you can change it and if you add another map with the separated RGB the thing will be changed definitely and you can add some camera movement in our final one here camera movement if you want just like a wiggle or just rotate it or just go through inside and and you can add some more particles here but this is the idea and I think this is a short tutorial maybe so i hope you like it you enjoy it and make sure you subscribe my channel and if you have any problem just leave a comment or just help me to grow grow up a little bit more fast to complete 10,000 subscriber fast so let's see when we will complete thanks for watching my video thanks for loving me thanks for supporting me I am NPS 3D and we will see you next time with a great tutorial. This is it for now and we will see you next time with a great tutorial.